I'm making this video in case people still don't have access to Claude because I just got access and I just realized that I'm an idiot for trying to get access in the way that I was. So I'm using Tunnel Bear, which is a free VPN. And then if you just go on Claude on Google or whatever, click on this. So what I was doing this entire time is continue with Google, continue with Google. And obviously my Google account is connected to um, Italy or the United Kingdom, I guess, actually probably more likely. So what you can actually do is continue with email like this and it'll give you an OTP, which is a one-time login code. And then you just go to your email and you will get uh, the code basically. I don't think I'm, I don't think this is an issue sharing this with people the code thing and then yeah i i already have access because i already did this but that's how you log in basically and i've been playing around with claude and it's pretty interesting some of the things it can do one of the big differences between claude and chat gpt is that when you say to claude to write a certain amount of words it will pretty much get the mark so if you say five thousand keywords, sorry, 5,000 words, then it will do 5,000 words. So what I basically did was I said, do you understand all of the fundamentals of on-page SEO, such as formatting? And Claude gave me a pretty good summary. And I just said, um, with all of this in mind and with the addition of tables, can you write a 5,000 word SEO optimized article about a random topic in classic menswear? I should have said output in Markdown because it kind of messed the tables up. But yeah, it really gave me a lot of content, as you can see here, which is super, super interesting. This also has an API, so there is the ability to auto blog with this. So I've basically just been playing around with this a little bit. It seems good, it seems okay. It can do internal links as well, if you really try and poke it. It doesn't do great. It doesn't do a great job of internal links. But yeah, the fact that it just outputs so much content is so much better than ChatGPT. So you can actually just easily write 5,000 word articles instead of having to play mind games with an AI trying to get it to write more content. So if you're looking for something for pillar posts, which is currently free, then I think Claude is probably going to be your best friend because it can write so much content and it lays it out pretty well. It's pretty formulaic, which can be a problem, but I think Overall, I think it's not too much of a problem, to be honest with you, especially if you're going to go through this and you're going to put a lot of photos. So I just told it to write a 5,000 word SEO optimized article about classic menswear, told it to pick a random topic itself. The evolution of classic men's suit styles over the past century, perfectly good article to write. And you could put images, which you could find pretty easily, to be honest with you. Just go on Google, search for lounge suits, for example, click on images tools, usage rights, creative commons, and you can use any of these images because they're in the creative commons. Something like this would be perfect. Maybe something like this, something like this. Fill your article with these kinds of images and yeah. I'm definitely gonna be experiment when experimenting with Claude a lot more. Um, I really, really wanna see what it can do. It did give me some pretty interesting titles as well. Um, I've been, this is kind of the, the, these are the tests that I run through every time I try a new LLM, I always try these kind of things and it did give me a really, really interesting answer here. So I said, I have a classic menswear website. We sell top Italian brands such as Kiton and Cesare Attalini. We sell maybe 15 brands. Can you help me think of some good blog titles that can attract traffic to my blog? So what I like to do here is instead of actually looking for keywords myself, I've been relying more and more on the logic of LLMs. Because if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense because the LLMs are built on the internet's content anyway, I, th I think. I actually don't know how they're built, but I think that's what they're built on. And that's obviously the stuff that's ranking already. So it kind of knows, if that makes sense, because it knows how often X is mentioned and how much, how often Y is mentioned. So some of these are pretty basic and some of them some of them are too specific. Although you should really have a good blog post for each brand that you sell if you're really, really going for like the spreading as much content as possible. I kind of prefer more specific things. And this one caught my eye here. Uh, sprezzatura. I think it's I think that's how it's pronounced. 
I'm really bad with the Z in Italian, but I think it's sprezzatura. And it I haven't seen this mentioned by ChatGPT. And it is a very interesting um, concept. And it's something that I know people are interested in. And yeah, it's basically I'm going to use Ahrefs keyword generator because I'm using a VPN. So if I try and go on Google Ads, it'll ask me for a OTP. And I just don't want that right now. I have to go to my window every time I want to get a text to verify my phone number. So you can see here, 8.7 thousand searches per month. But you honestly, you've got no idea what you're going to rank for. When you write one of these articles, you've just got no idea. So it's worth writing something like this just because you can see that the broad keyword term has 8,700 keywords. So yeah, I was very, very impressed by that. That is something that I haven't seen on ChatGPT. Most of them here are fairly standard, but there are definitely some good ones. This is actually a pretty good one as well. Wearing bold colors and patterns like a confident Italian man. I like that. That is a good one. Because you're going, the, the word bold adds further niche onto wearing colors. So it's something that like the the diehard fans of Kiton and Cesare Tallini, etc. That's the kind of thing that they're searching for. They want to know how to wear those bold colors and bold patterns that they've always wanted on that shirt that they can finally afford or that suit that they can finally you know afford or whatever it might be so yeah that's uh that's very interesting and also having italian style is also another highly popular search so that kind of combination is what i'm looking for when i look for a title because that's three or four topics in one article if you think about it and that's a really really good way to get a lot of traffic to one article is to write a long and in-depth blog post about three or four very niche specific things so this is good for me this is the kind of thing i like because you really you don't know what you're going to rank for at the end of the day you can try and get a specific page to rank for a specific keyword but often i find it's the random keywords that bring the most traffic in so the rest of these um they're, they're okay some of them are fine i kind of like this one summer in the city lightweight italian suiting for hot weather that is actually a really good one because you can, we do sell a lot of summer suits and things, summer t-shirts and that kind of stuff. It would be better for us as a business not to be Italian suiting, but Italian like style or something because we actually don't have that many lightweight Italian suits. A lot of them are cashmere, to be honest with you. We have a bit of everything, obviously. We have cotton, etc. But the, the bulk of it is wool, cashmere or whatever it might be. So to be honest with you, this, this would be good, but it would have to be a kind of a broader article for us personally. The seasons plus dressing in a certain time is really, really good. Dressing for the Italian Riviera lifestyle, perfect. I'm just thinking now I just had a weekend, well, one night in Sorrento, and there, there was a lot of style there. It would be really, really cool to write an article about like dressing for Sorrento because Sorrento is obviously incredibly popular it's one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world it attracts a lot of wealthy people so maybe there's an angle there to bring more people to us to buy their clothes to then go to sorrento i'm kind of giving you guys a look into my mind i guess with the seo stuff it's a lot of logic it's a lot more logic for me than keyword research i know i do release a lot of keyword research videos but because of these AI tools, what I've been kind of drifting more towards is using logic. And I will occasionally, I will, not even occasionally, I do try and verify things. But I like to just go with the AI's suggestions quite a lot. I've been finding good success with it. So yeah, spring in Italy, first question, what to wear in Italy in spring? 100 searches per month, but you really don't know. You just don't know. Like, yeah. You write a good article with AI, you tell it to give you a good outline, and it will write you a very comprehensive piece about it, covering a load of different topics, and that will just slowly bring in traffic to your website. Okay, so that's Claude. That's how you get access to Claude, and just a couple of things about it that I like, and maybe a couple that I don't like as well. The the content, at least with the prompts that I gave it, like I didn't I haven't gone too in detail with prompting yet. 
I'm sure you can prompt it to give you amazing content, but it does seem very chat GPT y in a lot of its responses. I think it was trained in a similar way or in a, on the same data or something. I'm not 100% sure about that, but yeah, that's Claude. Thanks for watching. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.